started something minus God. Kama ulianzisha kitu bila Mungu and then you come to understand God. Na ukuja upate kuelewa Mungu. And then you said you want to involve God in that thing. Na sasa wakati huo ndio unataka kumhusisha Mungu sasa. And then so that you can continue doing the same thing. Na sasa unataka kuendelea na hicho ulichokiandisha bila Mungu na umemfahamu ndio unataka kuendelea na hicho kitu. Is it allowed? Inaruhusiwa. And then before we answer also, kabla tujibu, I will give some examples. Nataka kutoa mifano. For example, you started a marriage kwa mfano uliandisha ndoa without god bila mungu then you are, you have been that marriage for some years na umekuwa katika ndoa kwa miaka fulani and even now you have children na hata sasa hizi uko na watoto and then you come to understand that no. god was not involved in that marriage na ukuje kuelewa ya kwamba mungu hakuhusika and then you want to involve god in that marriage na sasa ukuje unataka kuhusisha mungu are you going to live out of that marriage so that you can involve god or are you going to involve god as he continue Unaenda kumuhusisha Mungu katika hiyo ndoa ama unaenda kuondoka? Another question also. Swali lingine. For example you are working in a bar. Kwa mfano kama unafanya kazi katika kilabu as a bar attendant. Eh wewe ni waiter katika bar. You have been working there for some years. Umefanya kwa muda wa miaka fulani. Then you are, even you, you think that God was in that job. Na ulikuwa nadhani ya kwamba ulikuwa na Mungu pamoja katika na, kazi. You come to understand that God is not in that job of being a, a bar attendant. Na ukuja kuelewa ya kwamba katika ya kazi ya kuwa mwelekezi ama msaidizi katika bar haikuwa na Mungu. So, so now you want to go to come and be involved in your work now. Na sasa hapo inabidi tena unataka kuhusisha Mungu katika hiyo kazi. When you involve God now in your life. Sasa wakati umemhusisha Mungu katika maisha yako. Will you continue doing that job or you will you stop that job and you continue doing something else? Utaachana na hiyo kazi ya kuwa kilabu atenda na uanzisha kitu kingine ama itakuwa aje. So on the same matter say if analyze also. Ah kwa kumalizia katika hiki pengine. Let us check uh, one of our cousin called Zakai. Wacha tuone ndugu yetu Zakai. He was called Zechus. Zakias. He was a tax collector. Alikuwa mtu za ushuru and he had stolen from many people. Na alikuwa ameiba kutoka kwa watu wengi. Then when he came and now realized that he needs God. Like wakati alipofika mahali akajua kwamba anataka Mungu. Everyone this world knows what he did. Kila mtu dunia mzima alijua alichokifanya. No one does not know what Zechus did. Hakuna ambaye hawezi fahamu Zakai alikuwa anafanya nini. After involving God now in his work of taxation. Ah baada ya kumhusisha Mungu katika kazi ya utoza ushuru. So I want us to have that mind also. Nataka tuwe na haya mawazo pia. There are some things. Kuna vitu you started without God. Ulianzisha bila Mungu. When you involve God, wakati unamhusisha Mungu, you can continue with them. You unaweza endelea nazo. God can say okay now you have been involved in me now let us continue as we did you. Uh, Mungu anaweza kubaliana na wewe akuelekeze wakati anapo unapokubali akuongoze. But there are those things. Lakini kuna baadhi ya vitu. My friend when you involve God. Wakati unapomhusisha Mungu. There is no beginning there. Hapa hakuna mjadala. You will have just to leave them. Utapaswa kuachana nayo. Na that's why I've given that example of you have been in a marriage. Na ndipo nimekupatia mfano wa ndoa. You will not come out and leave children there. Hautaachana na ndoa uache watoto pale. And say let, let me go and consult my my God. Na useme wacha niende nika tafute mwongozo kwa Mungu. It's not that I can involve you God and then I will come back. Nipate kumhusisha na niposa nikarudi. That one you have to involve God as you continue. Hiyo utapaswa kumhusisha Mungu wakati unaendelea. But for for the example you have been a bar attendant. Lakini kama umekuwa mtu wa kilabu, you will not continue that that job of being a bar attendant. Na utakuwa mwelekezi wa kilabu kuendelea na hiyo. You will have to leave that job immediately. Hiyo wakati umefahamu Mungu unaachana nayo saa hiyo. Praise God. Amen. Because those are the things some people they they misunderstand. Even if you want to cause of harm. For example, you can be a lady. Mfano kwa mwanadada. And you, you have been in a fornication. Na umekuwa katika mambo ya uzinzi na ushirati. And now you are pregnant. Na sasa uko mjamzito. Now you come to receive Jesus. Na hapo umekuja kumpokea Yesu. Are you going to abort that child? Sasa wewe ujauzito utaenda kutoa? You would have to come to God with that chance. Utakuja na wewe ujauzito kwa Mungu. Because when you are about again you are reducing your sin. 
Wakati utaenda kuavia hiyo mimba bado unaongeza dhambi. So there are some things once you involve God you can continue as they are you cannot change. Kuna baadhi ya vitu wakati umemkundua Yesu katika maisha yako utaendelea na jinsi vilivyo. What will change? Vitu vitakao badilika. Is the way you are handling them. Ni vile utakao vishughulikia. Are you going to advise a lady who has been fornication to about because has come to Jesus Christ? Unaanza ambia mwanadada ambaye amekuwa katika uzinzi ya kwamba akaenda akaavia mimba. Praise God. Amen. You will take this let you come with the child and then you stop doing this and the God will give you direction. Ni utamweleza ya kwamba aachane na hiyo njia akuja kwa Kristo na atampea mwongozo. So I want us also to be very clear on that point. Lazima tukawajibike katika hiki pengele. That there are some things once you receive Jesus immediately you receive him immediately you start changing. Kuna baadhi ya vitu wakati unamkubali Kristo saa hiyo hiyo na saa hiyo hiyo unaachana nayo unakubali mabadiliko. But those things will receive Jesus and you continue as Jesus continue giving you direction. Na kuna vitu ambavyo utakubali na utaendelea nayo na dhidi Mungu atakao kupatia mwelekezo na mwongozo. This gospel can be good to, to, to those people who are thieves and robbers. Hii injili inaweza kuwa kwa wale watu ambao ni majambazi na niwezi. And even the adulterers. Na hata wazinzi and especially our, our, our brothers the drunkards na hata marafiki zetu ambao ni walevi they can tell you which means akaenda kama ni continue with drinking as a god is changing, changing me <laughs> yani ya kwamba wanaweza kuambia naweza kuja nikiendelea kukunywa na nikingoja Mungu anibadilishe if you are a drunkard kama wewe ni mlevi once you see Jesus wakati tumempokea Kristo there is nothing that you are drinking slowly slowly hakuna mambo ya kusema nitakunywa kidogo kidogo is immediately you, you, you refuse the uh, saa hizo 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 unakata hiyo queue because that's so many people they want things like that so, kuna watu wengi wanataka mambo kama haya my brothers Luzangu. let us check on that point tuangalie katika kipengele then another question swali lingine there is a verse that our sister has read in this book na mstari ambao umesoma na dada yetu hapo that there's nothing we can do without god ya kwamba hakuna chochote tunaweza kufanya pasipo kumhusisha mungu now listen very carefully here sikiliza vizuri i have had even many preachers nimesikia hata watumishi wengi that if it's the time for you to marry kama ni wakati wa ndoa don't wait for god to come and give you a lady ah usingojee mungu akuja akupetee mwanadada hapa god has already given you eyes mungu amekupatia macho god has already given you the mouth mungu amekupatia mdomo so don't wait for god hapa <laughs> usingoje mungu move ahead wewe songa mbele but now now i want to ask that question now na hapa nauliza hii swali this this verse that has told us that there is nothing we can do without god kwamba huu mstari ambao unatuambia kwamba hakuna chochote tunaweza fanya bila Mungu. Do you mean that God was speaking without understanding that he has given us mouth? Ya kwamba unadhani Mungu alikuwa anazungumza pasipo kuelewa ya kwamba ametupa mdomo? God was speaking without understanding that you have eyes? Kwamba Mungu anazungumza pasipo kuelewa amekupatia macho? Even the ears? Hata masikio? He knew that you have has given you all those things. Alijua kwamba hivi vitu vyote amekupa. But he warned you. Na akakuonya. Don't do anything without him. Ah kwamba uzikafanye chochote pasipo yeye kuhusishwa. We have seen many preachers they have misled the people. Kuna watumishi wengi wamepotosha watu wengi. If it comes the time to marry wakati nafika wakati wa ndoa even i had uh, james nganga speaking hata kuna siku nimesikia nganga akizungumza that people condemned him when he married this wife that he is having na kwamba watu walimshutumu sana wakati aliwao huyu mwanamke aliye naye that this is because this lady was young na kwamba huyu mwanadada alikuwa ni mchanga he said very well akasema vizuri there are those things you don't need God to consult. Ya yeah, kwamba kuna vitu ambavyo hauhitaji kumuuliza Mungu. The wife I'm going to marry is not the wife that God is going to marry. Na kwamba mimi mimi ndio naenda kuoa mke sio Mungu anaenda kuoa. I'm the one who is going to live with this the wife. Ni mimi ndio naenda kuishi na huyu mwanamke. So I have to marry something that I like. Ni naenda kuoa kitu ambacho kinanipendeza. And I have to do a very good selection. Na nafaa kuchagua kitu kizuri. That one you are saying that you have to use your own mind. Na hapa alikuwa anadhibitisha wazi kwamba unatumia akili yako. And even the praising him said the way he succeeded getting this wife. Na hata akawa anajisimu jinsi alivyofaulu kupata huyo mwanamke. And many people they said it's true. Na watu wengi wakasema ni ukweli. And not him alone how had many preachers. Na hata sio yeye peke yake watumishi wengi telling the ladies kuambia wanadada don't wear like old men. Kwamba muzivae kama 
wala mama amezeeka even this this uh, comedian is, is called pastor push hata kuna wewe mtu anajiita pastor push huyo anapenda comedy huyo one day he was advising people na siku nyingine amekuwa akishauri watu that if you need a wife don't go to the church na kwamba kama unataka bibi usiende kanisani in the church people they are very ugly na kwamba kanisani watu wako na sura mbovu because when they are praying you see how they are praying their eyes and the way they pray watu <laughs> watu wanaomba sura zao zinakaa tofauti wengine wanalia ngine hata hakuna kitu hapo. He advise people not to go to the church and get the wives. Na kwamba usiende kanisani kupata bibi. He and he proposed like this one. Na ka to ushauri. If you need a wife. Kama unataka bibi. Go to the place where you can find them. Enda mahali ambapo utawapata. And if also if you want to marry or get married. Uh, kama unataka kuoa ama uoleke. Put on the things that will attract people to uh, come and buy. Vaa vitu ambavyo vitavutia watu katika ndoa. And this one is a very good person many people know. Ah na hapo watu wanapenda huyu mchungaji sana ni mzuri. He was talking nonsense. Alikuwa anaongea ujinga na ubumba. Bless God. Amen. He was talking nonsense. Kwa anaongea ubumba. So this verse has really uh, 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 touched me. Hai huyu mstari umeniguza mimi. When the Bible says we cannot do something without God. Wakati Biblia inasema kwamba hatuwezi tukakifanya chochote pasipo kuwa na Mungu. And as some people tell you that God has given you common sense. Na kuna watu wanakuambia kwamba Mungu amekupa akili na maarifa. You have the eyes uko na macho move ahead songa mbele you are moving ahead una yes song, physically una, una songa mbele kimwili you could have moved spiritually unge songa kiroho praise god Amen. yes god has given us ndio mungu amekupatia macho move spiritually songa kiroho Yes you can see teams are coming all people they want, they want to come and attack you. Ni unaweza ona kuna wawezi wanakuja ama kuna watu wanakuja kukuvamia. Yes you will not say that uh, let me just stand here God is going to be with me. Hapo hautasimama na kuanza kusema waje nisimame mahali hapa Mungu atakuwa nami. But there is a way you are supposed to do as you as you run. Kuna vile unaweza fanya ukitoroka. Because you will be running and say God help me to overcome them. Ona kimbia ukisema kwamba Mungu nisaidie nikaweza kushinda but if you say i was the best at the pe at the school na kia mtazema kwamba mimi nilikuwa mwanariadha mzuri sana shuleni you will run overcoming them utakimbia ili kushinda but where you are going there are many of them there waiting for you maalo na hapo elekea na ndio yako ndiposa kugona wengi huko because you are running physically kwa sababu unakimbia kimwili let us run spiritually wacha tukimbie kifroko so this uh, 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 that kind of advice is very rotten na kwamba mashauri kama haya ni mashauri ambayo yameoza from today kuanzia siku hii people who are here wale ambao mko don't say i'm going to do it as a man ya kwamba ati ninaenda kuvifanya kama mwanaume let me do it because i'm a lady ya kwamba wacha nivifanye kama mwanamke i'm doing it because it is my profession na nivifanya kwa sababu ni nimehitimu katika hii kitu i know what i'm doing because i've been in it in for, uh, for a long time ya kwamba ninajua ninachokifanya kwa sababu nimekuwa muda mwingi katika hii Maeneo. Goliath had experience of fighting. Goliath alikuwa na uwezo na tajiri kwa miaka mingi wa kupigana vita. David had experience in in in, in the cattle shipping. Na Daudi na akawa na uzoefu wa kuwa mchunga kondoo na mbuzi. But, but when they went the war, lakini wakati walifika vitani, the one who knew the war was defeated. Na aliyejua <laughs> vita zaidi na kuwa na uzoefu alishindwa. And the one who has never participated in the war overcame that guy. Na aliyekuwa hajashiriki vita yoyote aliweza kushinda huyo mtu. It's a very big lesson we need to learn here my brothers. Hii ni ushauri mkubwa inapaswa tukajifundishe so i want to end there by saying this na malizia kwa kusema hivi i've seen many people saying me i'm going to do it as a man naona wengi wakisema ya kwamba ninaenda kuifanya kama mwanaume i'm just going to do it because i'm the head naenda kuifanya kwa sababu mimi ndio kichwa don't do it as a man usiifanye kama mwanaume and that's why even you see this world this world is missing people na ndivyo naona dunia sasa inapotosha wengi the president just wake up and say i'm going to do it because i'm the chief commander eh hata unaona rais anaamka tu na anasema kwamba ninaenda kuvifanya kwa sababu mimi ni amri mkuu wa majeshi there is nothing you can do na hakuna kitu utafanya the power belongs to me eh hapo na uwezo na mamlaka and then later this this president will perish ana kini baadaye ataangamia tu so from today kuanzia siku hii i stop there by saying nasimama nikisema hivi don't do anything even if you have the eyes you are seeing without god na usifanye vitu hata kama umepewa macho unaona pasipokuwa na mungu do it when we are with god fanya ukiwa umehusisha mungu kwa pamoja na mungu akaweza kuwatenda mema